Welcome into Philadelphia Eagles Now. I am Tom Downey, subbing in for Thomas Mott today, which I guess makes me the fake Thomas Mott, since he's the real one after all, or claims to be at least. We're going to break down some winners and losers from, from the Eagles and Jets preseason week one game. And although the Eagles lost the game 24-21 as Zach Wilson gets hurt, it's not, like it's not going to be too long term of an injury, I was actually very impressed with how the Eagles played in terms of the players that matter. Remember, it is the preseason. The win-loss tally doesn't actually mean anything unless you were betting on the game. The players that needed to look good for the, for the Eagles, against the Jets in particular, I thought fared well. I thought this team played very well overall. In fact, they were up 14-0 in the first quarter, 14-3 in the first half. Yeah, the very, very back end of the roster guys maybe didn't put together some of the best stuff as the Jets rallied late to pull off the win. I'm not concerned about that because the players that needed to, some names we'll get to here in a little bit, those are the ones that I thought stepped up. So overall, before we get going with my list of winners and losers, grade the Eagles' performance against the Jets. A, B, C, D, or F. Sound off for me in the comment section. The number one winner, it's about as obvious as, as I think it can be. Jalen Hurts was truly perfect in that performance against the Jets, minus the one cheap shot late hit in the game. Six of six on his lone drive, 80 yards and a touchdown. You can't ask for anything more uh, out of that performance from Jalen Hurts. After some reports of, eh, a bit shaky in the preseason or in the offseason, the camp, etc., I thought Hurts was flawless. Yes, it's just the preseason. Still, I think we would be a lot more concerned if Jalen Hurts was, oh, I don't know, one for five for seven yards and a couple sacks in his preseason debut like one starting quarterback was in the NFL. Not the case for Hurts against the Jets. Perfect is the way I would describe his performance. Very impressed. A confidence-building game and exactly what Eagles and Eagles fans were hoping for in that effort. I know the Jets weren't playing that many of their key guys overall. Again, he looked great. There's nothing more you can ask for out of Hurts. Easy, easy winner for me in the first preseason game. So how good do you think Jalen Hurts was last night? I think we should be seeing nothing but 10s because there were no incompletions. There's an 80th 80 yard touchdown drive, or 80 yards on, on that touchdown drive. Can't ask for anything else. So get those votes in for me at the pinned comment. How good was Hertz last night? One to 10, one is the low, 10 is the high. This is the pinned comment on today's video. So if an ad break comes here on YouTube, take advantage of it. Head down there and let me know. Number two, how about linebacker Kaiser White? And Again, I loved the, those of you who paid attention to our main chat sports channel, I loved the Kaiser White pickup. I think he is going to be a stud player. He, of course, had the pick off of Zach Wilson that, you know, he made it look, uh, he made it look pretty easy from that standpoint, 27 yards on the return. That was just a great play by White. I, I don't even blame Zach Wilson that much for the throw. He was a little late getting it out. But White came across the field to an extent to make that particular play. I think this Eagles linebacking core is super legit, at least compared to previous years when it was a lot of, ooh, it's not what you're looking for from that standpoint in terms of the guys that were out there. Uh, Kaiser White, TJ Edwards, I thought fared pretty well overall. I thought N'Kobe Dean had himself a fantastic showing, which, I mean, shouldn't be surprised. Like, I was a first-round talent the NFL stupidly let Philadelphia get. Edwards only had one sack, but I thought he looked fine overall in coverage, etc. The Eagles linebacking core is a lot better than what we've been accustomed to in recent years out of Philadelphia. That begins with some of their new additions in, in Kaiser White, Nicobe Dean, and Edwards as well. Now, if you liked, like I did, what you saw from the Eagles linebacking core, like the video right now, I think, and from a positive hype standpoint, quarterback play, linebacker play, two good things on that standpoint. So like the video right now. Let's go to the offensive line led by Cam Jurgens, And you saw, I'm sure, the highlight of Jordan Davis bullying Cam Jurgens. A lot more has to do with the play of Davis than it does from Jurgens. He had 21 pass, blo uh, pass blocking snaps last night, allowed just one pressure. He was fantastic in the run game as well. He, I think, is going to have one of the higher PFF grades from that preseason game if you value that in any capacity. But no one grades offensive line plays, so it's a decent data point at least. 
Obviously, Jason Kelsey banged up right now. I don't want Cam Durkin to start this year. They can be better if he's a backup, whatever. But I think you can get by with him, and I wouldn't even be that surprised if, if he had to start, if he's one of the top half centers in the NFC East, if we're not including Kelsey in that conversation. And even if we are, eh, he still might be in there on top of that. If, if you bet against the Eagles, eh, you won some money, but it's the preseason, not too impat important from that standpoint there. Use promo code EAGLES125 at chatsports.com slash EAGLESBET. Get yourself a 125% deposit bonus. Maybe you don't want to bet on the games until they start to matter. That's just fine. But you should be doing it with our sportsbook partner, BetUS. 125% deposit bonus when you put down at least 100 bucks at chatsports.com slash EaglesBet. Back to Cam Jurgens here again, the second round pick out of Nebraska. I don't want him to have to start because it's Kelsey. He's the star. He's been so good for so long, right? But I think this was very much a confidence inspiring game as a long term option, as a backup, and if you had to, as a starter as well. So, do you trust Cam Jurgens to be the starter for the Eagles? Y for yes or N for no? Let's talk now about Zach McPherson. It was a bit of an interesting performance. I thought Josh Job had a pretty rough showing overall, but that's not a huge surprise. McPherson was the one that I was hoping for a little bit more out of, did allow one catch for 10 yards. I think it's pretty clear why the Eagles signed James Bradbury, because they didn't want to have to start McPherson. And when he's your, your, your corner, four, five, even three on the outside if you have to, whatever, that's not too concerning from my standpoint. But... The Jets did make a bit of, of a run down the stretch in that game. You can blame Joe. We can blame McPherson some as well. He's clearly the backup at corner. Unfortunately, you got to put Jalen Rager on this. Yes, yes, he had three catches for 26 yards, but it's still not quite what you're searching for in the end. He's, I think the way he was utilized, he's clearly behind all these other receivers for Philadelphia. Some of the big names. I kind of feel like Zach Pascal is ahead of him now for Philadelphia. He had to play out there. Yes, Dallas Goddard played, but you, know, you didn't see A.J. Brown in terms of actually making catches out there. He played seven snaps, no targets. Rager is fighting very hard right now for a roster spot. That is significant in terms of the outcomes for him, and I think the Eagles would be open to trading him. I don't know if anyone wants to. The ideal future preseason performance is Rager goes for more than just 29 yards. That's a first-round pick. He's been in the league for three years now. He should be putting up big-time numbers even with backup quarterbacks playing. He didn't do that against Philadelphia, or for Philadelphia against Jets, and it's just been more of the same of he's not quite been the guy I thought and the Eagles thought he was going to be. One last name here, Britton Covey, the, a bit of an unheralded player uh, coming out of Utah. Two targets and no catches. So for an undersized guy who does offer some special teams ability, it's not what I think Eagles were hoping for. Maybe it's because the offensive passing game wasn't that dynamic, especially outside of the uh, first six throws by Jalen Hurts. Gardner Minshew was 8 of 12 for 81 yards. Reed Sennett was, was not great. 9 for 17 for 81. Took three sacks as well. I was hoping for more from him. Not out on him. He was, one, he was one of my UDFA sleepers this year. But undersized player, I need a little bit more out of him uh, as things move forward. Did have two uh, punt returns, but only four yards. Trying to fight for that role along with Jalen, Jalen Rager. Those guys combined for three returns, four yards. Hoping for a bit more on that standpoint. So who do you think was the biggest loser on the Eagles last night? Sound off for me in the comment section. Who was the biggest single loser for Philadelphia? All right, that wraps up for today's show here. I am Tom Downey, of course, subbing in for the real Thomas Mott. So if you haven't already, make sure you guys hit that big red button and subscribe.